let's take a look at fractions review. What fraction of the sheep is filled? Okay, so when you have a fraction, it's helpful to keep in mind that a fraction represents the part out of the whole thing, right? Or how much we have out of equal parts or equal slices. So if we look at the sheep, you can see it's divided up into one, two, three, four, five equally sized sections. So that would mean it's out of five, right? Out of five sections, how many are filled? Well, notice there's only one section that's shaded in. So one section shaded in out of five total sections would be one fifth of our shape. What fraction of the shape is filled? Okay, well again, you're always thinking of fractions as meaning the part out of the whole thing. Okay, so if I look, look at the shape, I have one shaded section, that would be the part, out of one, two, three total sections. So one out of three, or one third of our shape is filled in. What fraction of the shape is filled? Okay, and again, I always like to say the part out of the whole. I think that's the easiest way to remember what a fraction means. Okay, well, all together, the whole is all together how many slices we have. You can see that there's one, two, three, four, five equally spaced sections of our shape. So that means out of a total of five, the top number would represent how many are shaded in, right? That's the part that's shaded. Well, only one of them is shaded, so one out of five or one-fifth of our shape is shaded in. What fraction of the shape is filled? Well, again, we're thinking the part out of the whole thing. Now, notice my whole shape is made up out of three equally sized sections. So out of those three, how many are shaded? Well, there's only one that's shaded in. So one out of three, or one third of our shape is filled. What fractions of the squares are blue? Simplify your answer. Okay, well again, remember we said when we're thinking of fractions, we're thinking of the part out of the whole. So the part would be how many blue squares do you have? And the whole would be how many squares are there all together? Well, notice if I look at all these squares, there's only one that's blue. So that means I have a part of one, right? One blue square out of a total and I wanna count them all up. Well, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's eight total squares. So I have one blue out of a total of eight or one eighth of the squares are blue. What fraction of octagons are gray? Okay, well remember that vocabulary word octagon means a shape with eight sides. So if you look at these, each of these little shapes has eight sides, making them an octagon. Okay, what fraction of them are gray? Well, we're thinking the part out of the whole. Or in this case, that would be the number that are gray out of the total number, right? That would represent our part out of the whole fraction. So I'm gonna count. Well, there's only one that's gray, right? My one gray octagon is right here. So that's one out of, now for my total number, I need to count and see how many octagons there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means one out of eight octagons are gray or one eighth of them are gray. What fraction of parallelograms are blue? 
Okay, well again, look at our geometry vocabulary here. Parallelograms are, sh are four-sided shapes where opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so these shapes are all parallel. Parallelograms, sorry. So for the number that are blue, well, I can look and see one blue. And just like before, when I set up my fraction, it's always the part out of the whole thing. So in this case, the part would be how many are blue, and the whole thing would be my total number of parallelograms. All right, well, I can see I have one blue out of, and then I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one out of eight, or one eighth of them, are blue. What fraction of octagons are gray? Okay, well, I have one gray octagon right here. So that's gonna be one out of, and again, notice this, I'm setting this up as the part out of the whole, right? The number of gray octagons out of my total number of octagons. That's the part that are gray out of the total or the whole thing. And then we just need to count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octagons. So one out of eight or one eighth of them are gray. What fraction of squares are violet? Simplify your answer. Okay, well in this case, when I set up the part out of the whole, I'm going to say the number of violet squares over the total number of squares, right? That would be the part out of the whole thing. So first, let's count how many violet squares we have. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five violet squares out of a total of, now we have to count again for the total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five out of eight, or five eighths, of them are violet. What fraction of pentagons are yellow? Okay, well, I only see one that is yellow out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be one out of eight or one eighth of them.